Hi, Mr. Walbridge, how are you? I'm well, thanks, Leo. Specifically as a teacher, how have you made the transition to virtual learning and um, consequently, how has your class structure been modified as a result? So I guess I thought the most important thing when we started it was just to keep some sense of normality in, uh, and routine going. And that was why I kind of thought the Zoom check-ins at the beginning of each lesson would be so important. Um, and I think it's just good to, 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 for all of us to see each other and be aware that we're all in this together. Uh, and uh, and that I think also just benefits us not just socially but you know our learning and everything as well and you know just to keep that sense of community going. Um, uh, I guess other than that it's it's perhaps slightly more project based. I think you can't run a classroom in exactly the same way with 22 people where you can't really talk to each other um, when you try and have those conversations when you know, when people are entering the room or leaving, people have kind of jumped in or out quicker if they want, and uh, just you know, just the, the, the interaction is quite different, particularly if, like me, you're a social media folk. So, so it's a steep learning curve for us all. Okay, and um, as a, I know you're a parent and you have kids and everything, so what have you been doing to keep your children from uh, turning into gremlins? Well, um, there's been lots of reading. Uh, and um, the other thing is, I think, I'm not trying to exactly replicate um, a regular classroom within at home because it's a different environment. Mm -hmm. So I think lots of breaks have been important. Here, you can see our cluttered pile of, of possible activities. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so we have, we have the punch and kung fu pads, we have cricket, uh, tennis, badminton, uh, skateboard, um, and um, fortunately this, this hasn't come out yet, this is um, uh, my son's golf clubs, the anti-sports. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, um, uh, so uh, we just keep him busy with lots of different activities and uh, it's a good you know, I mean, it is, you know, you, obviously we should all make the most of whatever opportunities we have in situations. And I guess it has, you know, it's been fun doing all these activities with our kids. Like I said, the difficult thing is just balancing that with running classes and, you know, their classes are running as well. And I know a lot of, uh, a lot of people have found that juggling tricky. And what about, um, what have you been doing to keep yourself specifically, like mentally stimulated and physically active? <laughs> Well, that's, that's where the kids come in and the family. I mean, the, the job's still, you know, still planning and marking. And so it's like working and running, um, you know, working with our kids as well and running the home. So it's just, you know, I mean, it's been, it's been uh, very, very hectic, I guess, for, for us. It seems a strange, um, it seems to be a strange, phenomenon in the world at the moment the world seems to be split into a couple of camps people who who are uh, who are literally doing nothing but binge watching netflix and <laughs> and using social media and uh uh certain other uh, i guess certain some other people who just seem to be super hectic at the moment we're in in that category um yeah we'll see how things change Okay, and um, let's see, have you been reading anything lately or what are you reading at the moment? Um, I'm, well, I'm reading Roald Dahl's The Witches with my son at the moment um, uh, and uh, I'm a bit of Pullman with my daughter, um, my own book. Um, um, I forgot, no, I haven't been reading a lot myself at the moment. I, I plan to get on to that. Okay. Have you been watching any films or anything? No, I haven't watched any films either. Like I said, we've been pretty busy. Um, uh, the, in fact, the, the film I, I will be watching this week is the, is the one we'll be doing in our Topics of Cinema class, which uh, I'm sure you guys nominated. I, um, um, I haven't seen our latest film before, so I'll be watching that tonight or tomorrow night. Okay. 
And last question, do you have any advice or any tips that you would like to offer um, the broader ISK community? Um, uh, I think uh, the, yeah, I was just gonna say, yeah, I mean, I think uh, just uh, keep in touch with each other, remembering this together um, and uh, make the most of some difficult, of, of, you know, there are some obviously huge difficulties at the moment, but there are also opportunities. And I, I think if we keep talking about those and appreciating those things, that's, that's important. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Walbridge. Okay, thanks, Leah. All, right. All the best.